Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this smooth pinch slash pop transition. So as you can see here, I've already applied Twixter and zooms to my clip. So after that, what you wanna do is, around here in the middle, set the keyframe for scale. And then at the end, change the value to 30. Now in the effects and preset panel, search motion tag and apply it onto the clip. Change the output width and height to 400 and then mirror edges. I'm gonna adjust this keyframe a little bit. Now select both of the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant and easy ease. Then open the graph editor and copy my graph. Now turn on the motion blur. So our first zoom out is done. And for the next clip, set the keyframe for scale at the start and then around here in the middle. And at the first keyframe, change the value to 300. And then again, easy ease the keyframes. And open up the graph editor and copy my graph. Again, turn on the motion blur. Now our zoom transition is done. Let's make the warp effect. So first pre-compose this clip. Then go to the effects and preset panel and search warp and drop it onto the clip. And here change the style to fisheye. Now at the end of the clip set the keyframe for bend and change the value to minus 100. And in the middle change the value to 0 and press U to see the keyframes. Again easy ease them and copy my graph. And it's done. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.